So my name is Steve Melchiori. Our company is Stratosphere Networks, and I am the CEO and co-founder. So Stratosphere Networks, we really break down our services into three buckets. Uh, one is managed IT services. The other is managed cybersecurity services. And then the third would, would be what we call trusted advisor services or consulting services. The challenges that we face this year and into 2020 are primarily, primarily driven from uh, the, the fast pace of change in technology. <clears throat> so for us, it's, it's, it creates great opportunity for us, but the challenge is to stay ahead of that. We can't be behind it or trying to keep up. We actually have to stay ahead of the curve. Uh, so when it comes to you know, today, this year, and next year, cybersecurity is really the thing that pops out um, because it's, it's just rapidly advancing and uh, it's, it's, it's um, imposing a giant risk on, our, on our, can, our existing clients and our future clients. So human capital is one of our key success factors. We're huge into culture. Um, we take human capital very serious. So when it comes to the way we hire and the way we uh, also try to retain our staff, um, we like to provide um, uh, good future roadmaps for our existing staff. And really, uh, we updated our uh, mission, vision, and, and core values to really uh, have a better way to reflect on who we are as a company and then also uh, instill those core values into the individuals at our company. I try to lead by example at our company from a leadership and culture perspective. Uh, one of our core values is to be humble, so I try to be as humble as possible. I really think um, I like to tell the story about how everybody in our company should be treated equal. And, you know, I, I talk about if one of our other staff members doesn't show up to work, it can be a disaster for the type of services that we do because we're so uh, service oriented and we're in some you know, mission critical services like IT and cyber. So if somebody doesn't show up for work, it can be a disaster for us. If I don't show up for work, typically nobody notices. So um, so I really try to lead by example from a humble perspective. <clears throat> we do a lot of giving back in the community and you know, I try to be involved with that too and not just talk, but also lead by example. So we've always had a mission and vision and core values, but it was getting a little bit stale. And so about three to four years ago, back in about 2015, one of our leaders said, we need to, we really need to take a look at this. And we're always open and we're always asking for feedback. <clears throat> and so that person challenged us to say, let's get serious about this. So we did, we sat down, we started engaging our leadership team. And then we also engaged the rest of our staff. We figured this shouldn't be just driven from us solely we should get engagement feedback from the staff. So they did influence our mission, vision, core values. <clears throat> we decided to have our mission, vision, and core values very simple to remember. And uh, this was launched about two to three years ago. And, you know, one of my big things was I don't want to I don't want to launch the mission, vision and core values and just post it up on the wall, which it is in our hallway with decals and it's nice. It's on our website. But I wanted people to embody it and live it. So we started having some uh, competitions within the company where we had different teams and you could vote for each other. And you, you were really just voting on um, where I maybe saw an example of a, a coworker that that was um, showing something that's one of our core values. Maybe they showed they were humble or maybe they showed extreme teamwork in a different area. Um, uh, there's also a core value for hungry. So if somebody stayed late or really helped a team member, went above and beyond essentially, then all of our staff members could vote and it went into our portal and then the winners would each receive $500. And we did that quarterly for a whole year. So the, the game and the competition was fun, but it was more about keeping the, the mission and vision and core values top of mind for everybody and, and have them engaged. So that was 2018 and we, we plan to continue to do that, just not every single quarter, but we're gonna probably rotate it, maybe do it two quarters out of the year.